Okay, so you can now control your XBMC media center uh, with your um, with your smartphone. So the first thing you're going to want to do if you haven't already done it is you want to uh, download the app and install it to your phone. I've already done so, uh, and this is basically how you set it up. Um, you want to you want to start it up and go into um, settings um, manage XBMC hosts at the top I've already done mine, I've done mine as bedroom um, so yeah at the top there you put in what you want to call it so if it's in your room uh, downstairs or whatever now all these settings the IP address host of IP address and HTTP API port 80 and username uh, username XBMC no passwords. So what you want to do is when you've got that up there on your phone you want to start your XBMC up and go to system system info like so um, summary uh, go down to network and you, all you simply do is copy that IP address um, onto your um, into your phone settings. I don't know if my camera's picking this up. Um, normally, it's just the last number on the IP address that needs needs changing. So the last number on mine is number five, and on my um, on my XBMC on my computer is number five. Um, and that is is basically all you do once you've done that. Uh, username all in capitals XBMC. Um, and obviously give it a name, mine's bedroom um, highlight Wi-Fi only access port zero, uh, 80 sorry. Uh, and that should be it, click OK uh, exit MBMC on your phone um, so this will only work once your XBMC is on your computer so once you've turned your XBMC on I'll just go back here we go so once you've got it on on your computer, like I have, you then start your app up, and automatically it finds, uh, it connects to it instantly. And um, from here you can browse all your movies, like so. Uh, oh well, that's picking it up. Um, have a look, see what film you want to play. Um, let's do um, Alien. Why not? And there you go, it shows it on there. Let's click play movie. There we go. And and there you go. That's how you control uh, your XBMC with your smartphone. Um, and you can also skip through it like so. I'll see if I can do it like this. Uh, it's pretty instantly. Um, my Wi-Fi is in my bedroom over there. Um, if you have got weak Wi-Fi in your in your house, um, simply buy a cheap uh, router and uh, set it up. Um, look online for the settings for it, but it's really easy, and you can have one in every, every room in your house and get good Wi-Fi. Um, so I'll show you what else you can do. Um, the cool thing about um, this app is, I'll just play this film again, um, you can control the volume with the volume buttons on my phone. Like, as you can see it there. Like that. Um, you can also, um, on this app, um, you can uh, browse all your music folders on your XBMC. Um, let me just pick the folder music folder and that's all my albums um, all my films and music is um, on a network storage uh, basically a server that I made um, but it, it all works the same it's just I know that a lot of people out there like me use a server to stream their their files to any computer in their house and um, so it, it does all work on that remote control um, I'll just show you if I can see it you can um, skip you can play you can do, 
basically you got full control of everything you would you would need to do. Um, let's go on um, movies. Let's go to Alien Resurrection. Um, so my camera's really bad quality. I do apologise for it. Uh, remote control. Um, and from here you can go information and you'll see when you click it, it comes up to tell you what it is. The title there. Um, they've got a little short, little, loads of little shortcuts and stuff. Um, so yeah, um, I have had no problems with the app. Um, occasionally the IP address on XBMC on your computer um, changes. Um, I think there is a way to to stop that on your XPMC on your computer, but at the minute I am um, I don't know I don't know how to do that. So if anybody knows how to do it, then uh, please leave a comment and let me know. Because um, but it is very rare that happens. Um, you can also um, you can um, you can also power off XPMC like so. Um, you can update your libraries. Um, so yeah, it's a it's a it's a good app to app if you, uh, if you use XBMC a lot like I do. Um, so there you go. See, all you need to do is just when you're in the main settings to set this up, you click on the bottom one there, go into settings, um, manage XBMC hosts, and as long as you make sure your IP address is the same as the one on your computer on XBMC settings. Um, and uh, the name is XBMC and click Wi-Fi only um, and you should be good to go it, it, once you click OK it'll pick it up instantly and, every, and it'll save it so every time you start this app it will um, automatically connect um, let's do some music um, like I say I, I've had no problems um, with this um, with the speed of it, but like I say, I've got Wi-Fi in, in my room. It's right right next to me over there, so um, I don't have no problems. So yeah, that that's it.